Hi guys, welcome to my channel, and it's a new season of The Other Way, so let's get into it, huh? A little story first. Uh, so I was sitting in my house about to enjoy a lovely bowl of Trader Joe's tomato soup to watch this new season's train wreck, when this scene violates my eyes. Yep, and that was a wrap on my appetite. Let's meet Poop Boy, I mean Brandon, and Mary, one of the most codependent and unhealthy couples to ever grace our 90-day TV screens. According to them, they FaceTime each other 24 hours a day, every day, nonstop. During poops, as I mentioned before, cooking, washing dishes, etc., etc., etc. Oh, and even when they sleep. They're so beautiful when you're sleeping. I mean, if anyone watched me sleep, I think they would be more horrified from the sights and sounds emanating from my body, but that's just me. Single hour, every single minute, every single second on video call with Mary every single day. So yet yeah, they are with each other every minute of the day, or at least until the router goes out. More on that later. So I was feeling suffocated just hearing all this. Uh, can you imagine never having a minute to yourself? When are you gonna pick your nose, fart, scratch your butt? You can't, you can't. Brandon says that it was her idea, but in some ways, he likes it. She's very clingy, and I really like that because I'm kind of the same way. Also, it gives both of them peace of mind that the other one isn't cheating on them because they both have experienced a partner cheating. Contributes to our insecurities and... Which also makes them super jealous. Helps give that reassurance that we're not doing anything that we shouldn't be. So we have Brandon, who's 22 and lives in an RV. His mom wasn't really in his life because she lost custody over him. My mom lost custody because she failed a drug test. And his siblings went to foster care and he went to live with his dad, which I guess wasn't a very good situation. He was really demanding and hostile, and so I left. And Mary lives with her grandparents. I was eight months, my parents left me and my brother. So this unhealthy display of codependency is due to a lot of trauma they endured at a young age. Both have major abandonment issues, and they're so young that I don't think they've processed what happened to them. And you know, as screwed up as this whole phone all day thing is, it probably gives them a feeling of being wanted and needed, which is something they didn't have growing up. So we see how this toxic jealousy plays out when Brandon and Mary go off to his teeth cleaning. Who's gonna clean your teeth? The hygienist is a woman. In Mary's dream world, me interacting with another woman would never happen. And Mary honestly looks at her like she wants to melt her with death rays. I start to get anxious and tense up when I'm around other women now because I don't want to fight with Mary. So Mary wants him to have zero interaction with women. So much so that she doesn't like it when he visits his mom. Like, wh where does his mom live? Milf Manor or something? I mean, come on. Also, he can't hang out with his sister because his sister has friends that are girls. Again, this is so ridiculous and the level of control is insane. So we all know how TLC edits. So from the editing, Mary seems like the one that's the most controlling and the crazy one out of the two, right? But Brandon is also controlling as well. So remember I mentioned the router going out? So Mary unplugs the router and lies to Brandon and tells him that the power went out. It's only because today I'm going to meet my friends and Brandon get jealous about them. Yes, that is very hypocritical of her to ask Brandon to not see his family, his mom or sisters, that's nuts. And she lies to him so she can hang out with friends. That's just so messed up. So Mary's friends seem like an adorable bunch of kids but Brandon doesn't like her hanging out with them, which is why she has to lie. And in the scene, we also find out that she lost her college dance scholarship. I have this friend, Brandon is jealous about it, and he wants me to stop dance. Thus losing her scholarship and dropping out of school. She had to quit modeling because Brandon didn't like the photos that were being taken. And I can see some middle-aged resentment popping up in 15 years. Also, how are they going to build a life? For instance, get jobs if neither of them can hang out with men or women. I mean, I, I can only see this getting worse. And also, they fight every day. Apparently, it's because Mary gets angry when Brandon has any interaction with a female. I can't just go out and talk to any girl working or... She also gaslights him. 
It's your fault. I'm You're not too friendly to other girls. Brandon is worried that the fights are going to continue when he gets there and nothing's going to change. I mean, things are going to change. The only thing that's going to change is that the fights are going to go from 2D to 3D. Instead of, you know, getting together and trying to work on their issues and grow, they continue to utilize unhealthy strategies and just perpetuate more toxicity. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to. Well. And thank you so much for stopping by. See you in the next one. And I really appreciate all the support. All right, bye.